Welcome to our live meditation. And a special welcome to those of you who have joined us through Sounds True. Uh, it's best not to have any expectations about the form of this meditation. Just allow this moment to be as it is and you'll notice that we've started already with our meditation. Meditation is really all about becoming still. Without going to sleep. Well, let me correct what I just said. It's not so much becoming still, but being still. Becoming would imply that you have to go somewhere or do something. Being is already here and now. And in a sane life, a conscious life, a harmonious life, there needs to be a balance between becoming and being. Becoming is doing things, getting things done, and so on in this world, dealing with things, creating things, achieving things. And being is about being aware of the present moment. which, after all, is all you ever have. Whatever you achieve through becoming in the future, eventually, turns into the present moment. So, as I speak to you, The meditation, if we even want to call it that, it's perhaps best to forget about the word. As I speak, be aware of the, the silence or the stillness between the words. Being aware means just notice that it's there. It's very simple. So you notice that in addition to the words, there's another dimension that is easily overlooked And that's the dimension of stillness. 
which we could also call space or spaciousness. So when you notice that there are two, so to speak, two dimensions here, the dimension of words, which you hear and which then become thoughts in your head and the dimension of no thing, spaciousness. And you just so you just notice that's all that's required that there is that dimension also present, so you notice it in between words and even behind the words, so to speak. Now when you notice it, what happens inside you? What does it mean to notice the stillness? Be aware of the stillness. It means you have become still inside. It means you are conscious, but at that moment, at this moment, you are not thinking. But you are alert, present, completely here. but not thinking. So, that's the realization of the dimension of depth within you. And without that realization, your entire life is a surface phenomenon. You run around on the surface of being, never satisfied for long. Frustrated. Almost always feeling there's something important missing in your life. And of course there is. But you can't find it on the surface of your life. The horizontal dimension. Looking here and there. You have to not become still, but realize that 
that dimension of stillness is already in you. And another word to describe it is to say it's this alert presence that you can sense right now. And you may find the mind wanting to come in from time to time and say something about it or even deny it or say I don't understand it or say what's the point I have other problems to worry about. I'll become still when I have solved all the other problems. But why people experience, many people, most people experience their life as a succession of problems and ultimately a frustrating experience is because they haven't discovered that dimension, the most vital thing or no thing to discover within yourself. That stillness is also power. It's the source. Not only of yourself, it is the source of life. And nothing creative can ever come into your life if you are not connected with that. Whenever you feel joy, for a moment perhaps, in your daily life, or a moment of loving interaction with another human being, or an animal, or when you suddenly see beauty somewhere, and you go, oh.
Now, without you necessarily being aware of it, there has arisen a moment of stillness in you, if only three seconds, or perhaps a bit more. And it's only there that the joy of life arises or the ability to really connect with another human being. Without it, without the stillness, you have only your conceptual mind thinking, 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 and you relate to the world through the conceptual mind, judging, thinking, judging, interpreting continuously the inner self-talk, the monologue, which may become a dialogue in your head. You're no good, says one voice. The other one says, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Whatever the voice in your head is doing, and then you try to relate to another human being through that. And before long, Concepts come in, judgments come in. So there's always a sense of insufficiency, of lack, of not enough. There's always conflict arising. when the dimension of stillness is not at all operating in your life. Or very briefly, it's not enough. Yes, it's good if you can occasionally experience joy and a sense of aliveness and see beauty and a loving feeling towards another human being. Not the egoic love, but an flowing, a goodwill flowing out towards another human being. Yes, it's wonderful, but if it's only brief moments, then yes, at least that keeps, that keeps you going. But it could be much deeper. It could operate in your life continuously, so that you never lose touch with it. But the first step is realizing it's there always. It's already there. It's already here. I wrote in the little book called Stillness Speaks I said you are never more truly yourself than when you are still. And you might think that's a strange statement.
most people when they talk about myself talk about their personal history and their personal problems and their life situation. When they talk about myself, that's what they refer to. They refer to my relationships, my work situation, my financial situation, my home situation, my health. me and my life. And of course, all that, is, yes, is that is the case that, but is that who you really are? 